I found out when he was um, 10 months old that something was wrong with him. I took him to see the health visitor and then um, passed us on to a doctor who passed us on to a consultant um, that said he had a weakness in his arm, basically, um, and that they wanted to do an MRI scan. He was very smiley and, yeah, just seemed like a normal, healthy baby. So they did this scan which basically showed that at some, po some point um, when he was probably in the womb, they don't know why, but they just said he didn't get enough oxygen um, and a part of his brain had died and filled with fluid. And it was a part of his brain that was gonna affect the right side of his body. Um, so yeah, they basically diagnosed him with cerebral palsy, which was, um, yeah, a shock to, um, me and his dad. He, just, he needed more physio and stuff. And he used to have hydrotherapy and occupational therapy. Um, and it took him a while to walk. He didn't walk till he was maybe about three and a half. He used to walk with a, a frame for quite a while, which he kind of enjoyed being very young. He just used to pretend it was his fire engine. <laughs> um, Another issue he had when he was little, which they think was linked with his um, cerebral palsy, um, was epilepsy. Um, so yeah, he had three really bad fits, went between like one and two and a bit, um, which he had to be hospitalized for and had to be like blue lighted and have emergency medicine and stuff. So that was pretty scary. I think he's the happiest toddler out of all of my kids. He just was so smiley all the time. Um, when he was three, that's his dad died. So obviously that was a really tough time for all of us. But him being such a joyful little three-year-old um, was definitely really helpful. But then at the, at the same time for me, going through all of this stuff with the cerebral palsy without having his dad there as a support was an added really tough side to it. Yeah, so he's had different surgeries. They put metal plates in his knees. He's just recently had those back out and he's just had quite a lot of surgery done to his right foot to get the heel down. Um, but he's in a wheelchair and since he had the surgery in October, he's hardly been able to walk. Unfortunately, that's kind of the problem with the surgeries is that they're there for the, the longer good and in the short term, they, they set him back. So they've set back his mobility at the minute, but we're hoping that for the long term, it will, it will help him. And we love Hudson to bits and he's just hilarious. He makes us laugh a lot and he, he's not defined by his cerebral palsy. He, he doesn't give up. Because of it, he strives to do things that he enjoys. Cerebral palsy has been a challenge for Hudson over his life so far, and will most likely be a challenge for the rest of his life. But he's overcome so many challenges and hurdles with this cerebral palsy so far that I just am sure that, yeah, he has hope and we have hope for his future.